uh, I'm mm, directing this uh, uh, this project, which is called LabGov, the Laboratory for the Governance of the Commons, which is <coughs> a an applied research project that is uh, uh, helping several cities uh, uh, transitioning from uh, the old paradigm, the old economic paradigm, old economic and institutional paradigm to a new economic and institutional paradigm ba based on sharing and collaboration. So, and you know, one of the last uh, visits that uh, we got was the exactly the, <coughs> the social innovation division of Seoul City. And uh, what we are trying to do basically is fostering this idea of uh, a new form of government, actually, a new form of governance, moving away from the public government towards what we call the collaborative governance of the commons, which you see that the circle on the, on the left is based on the idea of uh, collaboration between five actors, social innovators, public authorities, local businesses, school and uh, universities, civil society organizations. So it's, uh, it's, it's what we call a public-private commons partnership. You have all, you know, the, the old uh, public and private actors, and then you have uh, the commons, the communities, and you have uh, people in universities that work together, people you know, that work in uh, uh, grassroots movements that work together to help cities you know, move away from uh, the old par paradigm to the city as a commons paradigm. Uh, <coughs> So the idea of the city as a commons is, is mainly based, uh, centered upon uh, five, uh, five actions, five steps that uh, a city should take, which are, you know, uh, f designing five, five devices. And this is uh, something that we are still working on. Uh, we designed the first one, uh, I'm not gonna talk about in, a, in, in, a, in one minute, but the five tools are, this regulation on the urban commons, which we call the, living, the, the making together part of the city. You, you need to you know, create a form of uh, uh, empowerment to, to allow citizens to run urban commons. Then there is the living together part, which is reshaping the welfare system, the urban wel welfare systems, and, and, uh, and centering it upon the idea of social innovation transforming all the, the old, you know, the old, uh, the old system, the old urban welfare systems into social innovation based uh, welfare system. And then the growing together, uh, which means that we need to move towards uh, a, a local economic development paradigm based on, uh, on collab collaborative, sharing and collaborative economy. And this is something important. We need to start distinguishing between sharing and collaborative economy. And then you need to do other two things that these are, you know, mainly the things that we are going to do in the next few years, <coughs> which are um, transforming the, the way the, organiz the bureaucratic organization is shaped within the city, the city the, each city. So changing the way people in the city work together, because you know that uh, in cities and in admini public administrations, I, I was listening to the panel before, it's all about uh, you know, r managing power, public, uh, public, public power, power, which means that uh, the city can use only command and control powers, meaning that they can do things without the consensus of, of the citizens. Instead, they could do uh, something to not just on behalf of the citizens, but together with the citizens. So uh, the cities of commons means that you need to transform, and this was something that uh, Albert was referring to, transform the, the city administration into an enabling platform. The, the, the administration should uh, become a, a platform that enables collective action, that enables uh, social enterprises, and so on and so forth. And then the last thing is to create um, what we call the bridge between the city and the co-city. The co-city is the city outside of uh, the public administration, the people that uh, the, the other five, four actors that are, you know, can be the, the, the answer for, for, for the city as a commons. And you need to create a bridge. You need to create public agencies or public-private commons agencies that become a sort of uh, community research and development uh, uh, departments. And this is something that we are doing in, uh, in uh, we have been doing in Mantova, in a small city in, uh, in Italy, and now we are going to design it also for, for the city of Bologna. So you need to have a form of, you know, a, a, a point of convergence between the city, the city as an administration, 
and all the public actors that are within the community that are able and uh, are willing actually to take action for the common interests, for the, for the common goods. So uh, these are mainly the five pillars of the city as a commons. And going back to the Bologna regulation, if I'm able to, so the Bologna regulation was passed in, 19, in, uh, 20, in 2014, but it took four years to get to the regulation. We started in 2011 by experimenting things in the city and by mapping all the experiences that were on the ground of uh, collective action for the urban commons. So we first uh, had to identify all the regulatory bottlenecks, all the, um, the, you know, the, 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 the administrative streamlining that we needed to do before designing a regulation that was going to be very innovative. So it, we in, in some way, we also changed the, the, the way rules and norms are produced within, uh, within a certain uh, legal system. So the idea of the regulation on collaboration of the urban commons that you can download on, uh, uh, on the internet in the Spanish version too, on this website that is co-bologna.it, is that basically you see these are almost the 160 pacts of collaboration that have been signed so far since uh, 2014, but they are also the places of, you know, co-working places, Fab Lab, spaces and, and other you know, collaborative, um, collaborative mobility spaces, all those spaces in, within the city, all those urban commons within the city that were thanks to the, the, the regulation, but also thanks to other public, uh, local public collaborative policies that were able to be uh, put in the hands of these mainly younger generations, but also elderly people that in, uh, in, uh, in Bologna are one of the pillars of uh, the social capital that Bologna is very well known for. So you see, that this is what we call Collaborare Bologna map. It's the, all these dots are, is, are a network, are a community that now is becoming a partner. He, Albert was mentioning uh, the idea of uh, the partner state. This is the, the community partners of the partner state. It's a state that is growing outside of uh, the city hall building that is now becoming the real ally for, for the city as a commons. Uh, so what we learned in Bologna was that uh, you need to accompany cities. The cities need, need to be accompanied on, on this path, on this, uh, on this uh, journey <coughs> towards, uh, what's that? It's, uh, so we need to we need to accompany um, because this you know the whole paradigm is centered upon the idea of competition, separation, division, and you know even within the uh, the idea of command and control is is the idea of separating and dividing. So you need to mm, help cities and communities find a new way to dialogue, a new way to become partners. So. One of the things that we are now working on is not just to say, okay, this is the regulation, please cut and paste it. No. What we would like to do is, uh, as LabGov, but also as the city of Bologna that is, you know, really, um, you know, working on, keen on working on this, is that you, we need to come up with a methodology, with a, protocol, a methodological protocol to help policymakers, community leaders, uh, civil society organizations and even uh, you know businesses, local businesses that want to work together and to form the city as a commons. So we learned that uh, th th there are five phases for this uh, co-city protocol that we are designing. We are still designing and we are willing to keep working on this protocol uh, in order, it's a wiki protocol in some way because it's we are at a front. This is a frontier, after all. We are innovating. We really don't think we have the solution for all the problems, and we don't think that we got to the point where we can say we have a model. We don't have a model. We have a prototype that we would like to experiment in other, in other, in other, uh, in other urban areas. So the idea is to have this, uh, these four, uh, these five steps: mapping the collaborative forces of the city within the city that can become you know, the, 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 the community partner. Uh, 
or the partner community. Uh, and then uh, uh, second is co-making. So before getting to the governance tool, you need to, to do things together because people need to test each other, need to understand if they can be good partners because collaboration is not like participation where everybody should participate. In col with collaboration, only those who really are interested in collaborating and getting to a point where you have a result are you know, able to collaborate. And also those people who want to really create projects for the common good. So the second part is, is mainly the part where people get to know each other, do things together. Like they have temporary use of old buildings or they run civic maintenance of the city or they, they create a form of uh, collaboration days, you know, even fests, even festivals. So they do things together, and these people, by testing each other, by partnering up, they become a community. And once you have a community of people that know each other, then you can start building and designing a prototype that has to be different every time. One of the things that Eleanor Ostrom, who won the Nobel Prize for uh, the, you know, coming up uh, with the idea of the governance of the commons was that you need to adapt the governance of the commons to the local conditions. It can't be always that you know, the, the one thing is, one regulatory tool, one governance tool is, is the same in, 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 and is also good for, for every city. We, are, we, have, we have to move away from the Fordistic model of, of government. Okay, so then you have uh, the, the prototyping phase, and then you have the amplifying phase and the evaluation phase. So to go back, so we, we now are in the stage, and this is the last part of uh, where we are amplifying. So we reached out to many uh, researchers, practitioners, experts worldwide, by organizing this, the, the City as a Commons conference last 6th and 7th of November. So we would like to work with people all around the world to, to build and you know, work on this wiki protocol on the City as a Commons, the co-city protocol. And we are looking for new partners. We are looking for people that you know, like, like you know, we share, this is, is, is a partner of, of this project in Italy. And we would like to have ma as many, uh, you know, we share connectors in the world that, uh, as possible so that uh, we can start these projects together with local universities. And for instance, uh, the next, the next, the first uh, LabGo project, CoCity, to, to start a CoCity uh, program uh, is, 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 is going to happen in New York because my, uh, my, you know, my good friend and colleague, Sheila Foster, who was the one at the international level talked about the idea of the <laughs> urban commons, is now starting a lab of New York to run the city, you know, the city of New York, to design for the city of New York a, a governance tool that is, 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 adapt, is uh, adaptive for, for the needs of, of the people in New York, of the community members in New York. So, all this is, th you know, happened thanks to these people in, in Italy, and there are boxes that are empty, and they, they could be your, your boxes. Uh, we would like to work with you in the future. Thank you. <laughs>